Welcome to Dateline Schools, a presentation of the St. Clair County Regional Educational Service Agency with your host, Terry Harrington. Local educators had the privilege of participating in the 5th Annual 21st Century Learning Symposium about a month ago to learn how to integrate technology into our schools. And all this week on Dateline Schools, had the privilege of talking with one of the keynote speakers for the symposium, the Director of Global Learning Initiatives for Discovery Education, Hall Davison. And Hall, welcome to the program. Thanks very much. Good to be here. What was your main message to the nearly 700 educators that were participating? Uh, the message in a nutshell is that students have really changed. Students have changed the way they learn. Their learning styles have changed. They can actually learn better, faster, retain it longer, as long as we match teaching to that style of learning. And we have the technology to do it, so the message is really match the technology with the learner and we'll get really great results. I was say, I even, I've noticed that with my own learning styles, of course, and then with my kids and my grandkids. It really has changed. Even adults have changed. Their learning styles have changed, too. There was an article in The Atlantic not too long ago about how people's reading has changed. You can ask yourself, people can ask themselves, whether or not they read with the same um, uh, deep commitment to the process that they used to. If you really want information, how long do you stick in a page? How long do you stick in an article? Because really, we read a lot less. We tend to skim more now because we're getting it from other medium. Now, is technology really the, the culprit that's changing these learning styles? Uh, culprit may be the wrong word here. I'd say the uh, visionary uh, okay, learning go. style that'll do it. Yeah, it actually is the enabler. If you think about it, and really, this is uh, really one of the important points, decoding, reading, the analysis that we've been doing for a couple of thousand years really isn't the natural way our brains are set up to learn. There was no part of decoding and looking at an image and sending it to one part of the brain and sending it to another part of the brain to find what those squiggles meant to get out that had to do with survival and the way our brains were put together. We've learned to do that and some people are good at it and some people will never be good at it. And for the kind of learning that we're set up to do, the visual learning, putting together auditory senses, analyzing a lot of data from a lot of different sensory inputs and getting a conclusion and building learning from that, that is returning to a way that we are the best learners we can be and technology is letting us do that. So that's really what's what that about. And in, in fact, this kind of technology is resetting the way people's brains are working. And there's a lot of data on that. But if you have a lot of kids exposed to a lot of media, the way they change, the way their brain thinks they're supposed to be learning uh, will reflect the media environment. And that's why we have to use that media environment to teach. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Aaron.